What's up guys? Welcome back to another Makeup Artist Monday. It's artistry like BAM. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning back in this week. So this Monday is Memorial Day. I hope that you guys are out having fun at the beach, cooking out, whatever you guys are doing with friends and family. Be safe out there. Please enjoy the weekend. This is just a uh, such a fun time of year because the weather is starting to change. It's getting a little bit hotter outside. It's starting to be beach weather. And so today we're going to do a fresh summer glowy makeup that I think that you guys will really love. We're going to be using some of my favorite products that I have been playing with all season and I think that you guys will really like this look. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. So I don't know about you guys, but in the summer, I don't like to wear a ton of makeup. I do like to look really polished and put together and really fresh and maybe have like a touch of elegance, but nothing too crazy, right? So in the weather, that's really hot. It gets kind of sticky and humid outside. And so I'm gonna use a couple products today that's really long wearing, waterproof, and that is tried and true in this type of weather. So today we're gonna be using the Danessa Myricks Color Fix in the color Nude Number no. 4 and in Gingerbread. These are liquid kind of cream pigments, so very, very high saturated color. These are really great because you can use them for the eyes, lips, cheeks, body, pretty much anything. They are waterproof once they dry and set, and it takes about 30 to 60 seconds. So we're going to be using two colors of this today, and I'm going to be using them on variations of the face so you guys can see how I use them in different ways. We're also going to be using a little bit of the Ride or Die Lip Balm from e.l.f. Cosmetics. You guys know that I really like um, using lip balms in makeup, so this is really nice because you can use this on the eyes to add a little bit of a gloss effect. You can add it on the cheek to add the, like really that glossy, dewy highlight, and you can add it on the lips as well for a little bit of hydration, a little bit of color, and then maybe a glossy shine as well. So three-in-one kind of product, really inexpensive. You can get this at the drugstore, Target, wherever. And so we're going to be using this today in a makeup. Also another drugstore favorite in the summertime is the Essence Waterproof Mascara. The Essence Waterproof Mascara is phenomenal. It's really lengthening, has a great style brush that really coats all the lashes. It's waterproof. Once it's on, it's on. It doesn't budge and you can wear this all summer long. So that's another really great product. We're also going to be using the Brow Revolution uh, Cosmetics Brow Pomade. This is a really nice like brow pomade gel. You can kind of swipe through the brow. This is really nice in the summer months because the gels tend to dry a little bit more crispy and they are more water resistant, which is nice. So it keeps your kind of brows a little bit hard, a little bit more in place. And that way, if you tend to sweat or wipe your brow, sometimes the pencils and pomades and things like that tend to run or smear. And then a gel like this is really great for that as well. So we're going to be using that in our makeup today. And then last but not least, which is my favorite product, we're going to be using the Gucci Westman Cheek Highlight in the color Nectar. You guys have seen me use this in a previous video. It looks like this, rolls up, and it just kind of like swipes right on the cheek. So we're going to be using this today in a makeup to give me that ultra dewy, beautiful highlight. So I can't wait to create this look with you guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get today's look started. So we're going to start off with the Danessa Myricks Color Fix in Gingerbread. I'm just going to put a dab of this in the back of my hand. Honestly, you guys, as a professional makeup artist, trust me when I tell you, less is more. Start with a very, very small amount of product with these pigments and then build. These pigments are very, very highly pigmented and a little bit does go a super long way. So we're going to use just a tiny bit of this, and I mean tiny bit, you guys, like that is way too much even for both eyes and we're going to use a little bit on the face too so my skin is already primed and i have a moisturizer on and spf so now we're going to go in with a little bit of the danessa myricks color fix in like i said gingerbread i'm going to go in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush just a little bit on the back of my hand i don't know if you guys can see there it is and i'm going to go just a little bit on the tips so really, really small amount right on the tip of the brush. And I'm actually gonna start on the center of my eye. I want most of the color to be on my lid. So we're gonna start closer to the lash line. And I'm literally just tapping the product on and placing it where I want it. And remember, this is a liquid cream pigment. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm actually gonna brush off the excess on the back of my hand. You guys can see how that looks. Now we're gonna actually blend and diffuse the product out. You wanna work pretty quickly with this product. It does set in about 30 to 60 seconds. So this is the MAC 224 brush. You're gonna notice that it just really does a great job of blending this product out. Gives me that soft wash of color. And this gingerbread color is a really beautiful, warm, rich 
um, like terracotta. And this looks good on most skin tones, actually. So I'm literally just blending this up to my crease, feathering it out, and just kind of creating a soft wash all over the lid. So on camera, it looks really intense, but in person, it's not that intense, you guys. So I'm gonna take a little bit more off the back of the brush. This is kind of nice because you're using a, what's already on the eye and you're literally just softening it and blending it out. I feel like a lot of people don't blend their eyeshadow enough. They usually will just go in and blend one or two times. When you are executing a really soft, effortless look like this, less is more. So you wanna start with just a little bit of product and then build. So that's what we're doing right now. You can see how that starts at the lid and then it kind of softly feathers up right up to the brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side really quickly. So you'll notice that I'm stamping the product into the brush and then I'm kind of feathering it out. That way I don't get too much product on my eye. I'm gonna stamp it and place it where I want it first. Just like that. And then we're gonna softly blend it out. This is not supposed to be hard or really complicated. It's a really, really effortless look that takes about five minutes once you get this technique down. And if this looks a little bit too bright or too dark for you, don't worry, we're, we are going to lighten this up just a little bit. Because not everybody feels comfortable wearing this much color, and I definitely understand that, so. Check that out, you guys. Pretty, right? So you can see that most of the colors of the base and then feathered all the way up. I'm gonna take the brush again and lightly just diffuse what's on the brush so that I can blend right up here just to kind of diffuse a little bit more and soften these edges, that way there's no harsh lines. And I get asked all the time as a professional makeup artist, do you always do your eyes first? I always do my eyes first, that way if anything falls or smudges or gets messy, I can always clean it up and I don't ruin beautiful complexion work that I've already done. So today, we're not gonna be doing that much complexion. We're actually just gonna be doing really fresh, really easy summer makeup. So this is just one kind of wash all over the eye. Hope you guys can see that, really beautiful. This gingerbread color is really versatile. And like I said, works on multiple different skin tones and it works really good on the face too. So we're actually going to go in with a foundation brush next and use the same product that's on the back of my hand, that gingerbread, so we don't wanna waste it. And like I said, it does dry really quickly, so you wanna work quick, you guys. So I'm just kind of stamping it on the tips of my brush, foundation brush, and I'm actually going to use this as my bronzer color. So this is gonna help me look really bronzed and very sun-kissed, and give me that like orangey warm glow. And like I said, you guys, this is gonna show up really, really intense on camera, but it's just the lights. I'll turn down the lights at the end so you guys can see what it looks like in person. You guys can see that. It just creates a really, really, really like soft, effortless wash of color, and it's very monochromatic, so everything has the same color to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other, the other side. Like I said, press the product right on the tip of the brush, and we're gonna go start from the back of the ear, and we're gonna go down toward the cheek, and we're gonna use this as our blush slash bronzer color. Especially in summer, you wanna do less is more. You wanna look like you're really put together, really flush, and have a lot of color in the face, like you've been on vacation. A little bit down the nose. A little on the forehead. Just anywhere the sun would hit you to give you a little bit of touch of that warmth. This is basically your bronzer and blush and all of that in one. So you guys can see how that just added a lot more color to my face and a lot more warmth. I'm actually gonna switch brushes and use a blush brush to kind of blend and diffuse all of this out. You want it to look like your color is coming from within. So by manipulating the product, really blending it like this, it's actually gonna look like the color is not sitting on top of the skin and it's actually just coming from within. This is really nice to do because if you get heavy handed, you can really go back and soften any edges that you have, which I really like. Nothing is perfect when it comes to this technique, you guys. It really is supposed to be fast and easy. All right, so you guys can see I have a little bit of that color on the cheeks, 
nothing crazy, a little bit of bronze, a touch of warmth, and then that color on the eye. Now we're gonna go in with the nude number six. This is another one of my favorite colors because you can use this as an eye base. And then today we're gonna use this as a little bit of a concealer and an eye base. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Same thing, I'm just gonna put a tiny amount on the back of my hand. And I'm actually gonna go in with a really small brush. So this is a Serge Luis Alvarez brush from a long time ago. Sergio, I believe is his name, he's a makeup artist. It looks just like this. And then we're gonna go in with just a tiny amount right on the tip of the brush. So just like that, right on the tip of the brush. And then I'm gonna start at the inner corner of my eye to kind of help brighten up this look, okay? So inner corner of my eye, tapping in short strokes. So you can see how that's starting to brighten up the eye. Tapping the product on. And then we're gonna go back in with that blending brush, the MAC 224, and we're literally just gonna blend this color into that other pigment. This is gonna brighten that inner corner and give you a lot more of that opened eye effect. You guys can see that? Really soft, very effortless, but really pretty. Doesn't change the eye look too much, but gives you a lot more definition to the eyes. You can see how this one looks a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter, and this one still looks a little bit more of that wash. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just a tiny, tiny bit on the back of my hand, going in with the tiny bit on the front of the brush, and then right here on the front of the eyelid, we're gonna press in the inner corner, just like that. Take that diffusing brush, and we're gonna go ahead and blend those colors together. So if you do, do apply too much of that gingerbread color, this will help you go back in and kind of balance out that brightness. So that way you have a little bit more control over what you're doing. And you can go in and add more as needed. So I can see already on camera that this one is just a little bit brighter, so I'm gonna go in and add just a little bit more right here. Stamp a little bit more just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press first. And then blend out. Just like that. So you get that duality of that two-tone but they're so similar in tone that it looks almost like one color, right? So you have a little bit of that definition in the crease and just a little bit of that color on the lid. Really pretty, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and soften everything, blend these two together really quickly, just like that. I'm gonna go in with that same color, nude number four, just a little bit on the back of my brush as well. And then we're actually going to go right in the inner corner of the eye underneath to cancel out a little bit more of that blue shadow that I have, because we're not using any foundation or concealer in this look. So just where I would apply concealer, you can see it's brightening up that area already. I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and just lightly blend that out. And this will give me waterproof creaseless concealer for the day and it'll give me a little bit of that coverage because this is a full coverage pigment. So I know that that blue is not gonna show through too much. And it'll keep the look really uniform because now I have it two places on my eyes and then I have that gingerbread color on the eye and then on the cheek as well. You guys can see that? Really nice, right? So it's really bright, really diffused. Everything is very cohesive. And then we're going to go in next with a little bit of that Revolution Cosmetics Brow Gel. I like these because they have a really tiny brush and the tiny brush helps to get in and just really smooth the hairs out really quickly, create a natural looking brow without depositing too much product. As you guys can see. One with a little bit more on the other side. And I always like to just kind of wipe off my brush just a little bit. Another tip that I like to do kind of guys is go in on the sides of my hair. <laughs> if I have any flyaways, it helps tint and it also helps to smooth down too. 
just a behind the scenes tip that we do on the set sometimes. All right, now we're gonna go into the e.l.f. Um, eyes, lips, and face. This is a eyes, lips, and face cosmetics. If you've ever tried this, they sell these at Walgreens at Target. Um, this is their 100% vegan and cruelty-free um, lip balm, and this is in the color Just Peachy. It's like a really pretty orange color. I used this in a video last week to mix with foundation, but we're actually gonna use this on our eyes and our lips today. So just a little bit on the back of my hand, just like that, you can see how it has a little bit of color to it. I'm actually gonna go in on my finger and warm up the product and then press it right on the front of my lips. To give me a touch of that color and a little bit of that hydration. This is not perfect, this is just a very easy effortless makeup, right? So you can see how that looks. Beautiful. Gives me just a little bit of color, but nothing too crazy, right? And then we're gonna go in and do a little bit of the Essence Mascara. So the Essence Mascara is really nice because it is a waterproof formula. It's super black saturated and it gives you a nice length. So if you're gonna be at a festival or at a pool or just really hot on a summer day, this is really nice because it's gonna keep your lashes looking beautiful and long and it's only $4. I use this one on my kit a lot because it's very inexpensive and I go through waterproof mascaras a lot. Especially on like special events and makeup for brides. You want to make sure that they're not crying or tearing or smudging. So I'm using a disposable brush just because I don't have this one for my personal use. So this one is from my kit. And I'm using a disposable brush, that way it keeps everything sanitary and sanitized. So I got a couple of flakes and smudges, so I'm just gonna kinda use that brush and just diffuse that out. All right guys, what do you think? Pretty soft, right? Very easy, neutral, nothing crazy. I'm gonna go in with my favorite part, and that is the uh, Gucci Westman Atelier Cheek Highlight. This gives you that very beautiful, balmy, wet, dewy highlight. You can also do it with the Eyes, Lips, and Face um, Lip Balm if you want. It's going to be a little bit stickier. It's going to give you a little bit more color. Um, it's not going to last as long. This is actually formulated for the face. And this is one of those vegan and cruelty-free products that's on the luxury and high-end line, which I really like because it has really good skincare benefits in, inside of it. So I'm actually going to place it right on top of that waterproof cheek color because now we know that that is not going to move right on the high planes of my face just like that and I'm going to take my finger and just tap it in this is a really beautiful product because it gives you that like wet dewy highlight look you guys can see that without looking overly like shimmery or glittery. It just gives you that very beautiful dewy wet highlighted look. Maybe you want for the festivals and you can put a little shimmer or just if you want to look really beautiful and sexy and highlighted maybe you're going out for date night or with the girls or with the guys whoever. So just right on the top of the cheekbones lightly tap it in. I like to use my ring finger just so I'm not applying too much pressure but I am getting the warmth from my finger so that it really helps to kind of melt in the product. And I like to go right up all the way to my under eye and right on top of my cheekbone so that everything looks really cohesive and blended that there's no harsh lines. You guys can see that. That's my favorite product, you guys. Right now, I'm loving this like wet, dewy skin look that's really fresh. It's really effortless and really easy to do, too. Um, this Gucci Westman product comes in a different a couple of different colors. This is in the color Nectar. It's really, really beautiful and it's just such an amazing highlighter. You can use it on the lips too or on the eyes as well, but I really like using it on the cheek because you can see it gives me that like beautiful, fresh, dewy, wet look. So 
All right, guys, this is the look. So that was just a couple products, just a really fresh, dewy summer skin look. Everything is pretty waterproof and stay put. You can go out to a festival or go swimming, go to the beach, and know that your makeup isn't gonna budge or move all day. I hope this helped you guys. If you like these makeup videos, please subscribe in the link down below. I put out these makeup videos every single Monday, and I just love doing them for you guys. So if you have any requests, please leave them in the comments down below. Maybe you'd like to see something a little bit different, or maybe you'd like me to review a product. I could definitely do that for you guys. And until next Makeup Artist Monday, I'll see you soon. Thanks guys, bye.